Hey everyone, back for another quick video showcasing creative ways to use the Practice Better platform. Today I'm sharing how you can pull your clients to help provide valuable insights that will help inform content creation in your practice. So for the sake of the example today, let's say I'm working on creating a new program and I want my community's feedback. So firstly, let's create the poll or survey and to do so I'm going to use the form builder. So let's head there now by going to my practice and down to forms and waivers. If you're getting started from scratch, you can use the red fast action button down here in the corner to get started creating a form. However, I already have one created. So let's click into my 2022 new program community poll form. So my goal here is to keep this extremely simple and targeted. Since I'm asking people to go out of their way to provide me with their feedback, I wanted to keep it as quick as possible. So you can see that I have three questions that I've created using the different form elements. I have one on the ideal length of time, another on the topic that resonates most with my community, and another on the program delivery style. So once you have those built out, go ahead and press save and exit. And once you have your form built, go ahead and copy the link for the form. So we'll head to the more options, down to share link. I want this to be a short link, so I'm going to toggle this button here and just copy this here. Okay, so once you have that copied, go ahead and close. And let's send this out as a broadcast message as a way to send this out to everyone at once in a really efficient way. So we'll head to messaging here. Now once here, you can head to broadcast messages. All right, so let's create this broadcast. We'll click the plus sign here and add the description. So this is just for our internal reference and I'll put 2022 content poll. Now I'm going to choose how I'd like this to be sent out. So I'm actually going to select a direct chat message or email if not activated. That way my clients who do not have access to the client portal will still receive this message. And now you can decide when this message goes out. So whether that's immediately or whether you'd like to schedule that out in advance. Next, you can select the clients that you'd like to receive this. So you'll see that you have options of choosing tags that you've set up or individual clients. So I'm actually um, going to select this box here for all clients. So I have set up a tag in advance that every single client of mine gets so that I can send everyone out a broadcast message very easily. So I'll hit next and you can add your direct chat message here. So I've already drafted one up. I've just pasted that in. So I'm asking my clients to take a couple minutes to answer a few questions with me for a new um, offering that I'm coming up with. Okay, I'll hit next. And because I've selected this to go out as a chat and an email, I can now um, format the email. So we'll say, looking for your feedback, new program coming in 2022. Okay, so that's all good. One last step that I'm going to take is just changing this here to a proper short link. So I'll copy that again, put that as the URL insert it. So now anyone that receives this via email will be able to click into that form. All right, we'll hit next. And this will allow us to actually see who's receiving this message and in what format. So whether it is a direct um, message or going out as an email, depending on whether they have access to the client portal or not. And once that's good, I'll go ahead and press send. All right. So now that I have that sent, we can look at our demo client, Mary Smith here, and she should be receiving that broadcast message and look, here it is. So now she has that message with the short link that she can follow to fill out that form and provide me her feedback. And once you've sent that out, it's likely that you're going to want to analyze the results so that you can um, take the insights and actually apply them into your content creation. And we have a really easy way of doing that. And let's take a look at how to do so. So I'll go from my practice down to reports. And I'm going to select the form response summary. Okay, once here, I'm going to select my 2022 new program community poll and we'll hit submit. So, so far it looks like I have six responses um, of my three questions and I've got a really nice visual that very quickly shows me the popular choice. So for the ideal length of time, I can see um, the more popular option here for the topic that resonates, looks like I've got my answer very clearly there. And for the program delivery style, I can see really quickly um, what resonated most with the majority of my community. So that will help me as I build up my new offering for my clients to know what's going to resonate with my community when I am ready to roll that out.
So I hope this idea inspires you as you head into the new year and you're thinking about new offerings that you can bring to your clients. And I'd love to hear if you're going to try this method out yourself. Thanks everybody for watching.